the exciting part of the day on the fly. Uh, the following content is not suitable for children under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright, we have here Studio Series King, not Studio Series, excuse me. I've been doing a lot of Studio Series figures lately, so. <laughs> uh, here we have Kingdom Huffer War for Cybertron. Um, again, we get the ever popular collector card with a stick, holographic sticker over it. This one's Megatron. Um, these are kind of random. I wish they would have the f figure that's with the card. And some nice instructions yet again. Easy to follow. Um... Now here's the box. Um, here's he not in his nice uh, alt mode. And him in his root mode. Just nice artwork here. I, I love the artwork on these kingdom boxes. Um, on the back, they have shows converts of 14 steps. Um, there he is uh, with his shield and his gun. In his root mode and his alt mode. And they show him in truck form. The other side is a nice uh, picture for Kingdom. And so yeah, um, that's the box. Here is Kingdom War for Cybertron Huffer. Now before I get much further, I wanted to give an update on my last uh, Huffer video. The Kingdom Huffer breakage. This one, the, the fists are actually quite loose. Um, the other one, they were overly tight for some reason. I bought a busting a fist. So I guess uh, the results may vary uh, from figure to figure. Um, that being said, you know, just if you wind up having yours tight, uh, I would take caution. Do stuff at your own risk. You could try sanding down the... the peg on the gun to make it a little bit smaller to fit so you don't risk breaking that hand or the hands because both hands on that other huffer were quite tight um but yeah that being said now we'll get into some of the articulation um take the gun out and the shield um he, his arms go all the way around 360 degrees I mean you can do that I mean, he can go way out to the side with that. His elbow's bent at about a little less than 90. Um, no wrist rotation. You can bend his wrist in a little bit if you like. That's for transformation. Um, he has ankle rockers. You can get him into a nice A stance. Um, no toes. Um, he does have a waist. His head's on a, a ball joint, a real tight one. You can look up a little bit, look down. Um, he splits about to there. <coughs> That's about it for articulation. Um, other than, I mean, you could, he's got a really super deep knee bend due to transformation. Um, I mean, he kicked forward about that far. And then kick way back. Um, yeah. So that's the articulation. Now to get into some comparisons, we have, I believe this one to be, um, Combiner Wars Huffer. And then the old dog, the G1 Huffer. Now to get into transformation. First you want to take 
his arms, make sure they're nice and straight. And you want to take this piece and bend it back. He's got a bit of an ab crunch too, so I mean, if you wanted to, you could actually kind of like fudge it where he's sitting. Uh, but that's due to transformation. But anyways, um, what you want to do is you want to take the fold them at the abs and take these arms and fold these down like so. so you got it like this. I need to fix that. So you have it like that. The wheels are inside. Now I've noticed okay technical difficulties with the wheel it popped right off. And get that back on here. It's really tricky to get this spread apart far enough where you can actually fold these wheels down. They do not like to, uh, to catch on this piece right here. So if you don't have that folded out far enough, they will catch and make it unable to be transformed. Once you have that, what you want to do, I'm going to try and uh, bring these up like this to get them out of the way. And once you have that all the way, there's a uh, little spot right here, a little tab. You want to snap that on there like that. Then you want to take the arms, and there's some tabs right here. There's one right in here. It'll fit into the one on the waist on both sides. Then you want to take the arms and turn them to where they're facing with the fists like that. And then there's a little spot right there and another tab right there. You want to... Bring that down, snap that into place, and then put this on here. I'm going to take the hands and fold them down. I wish they could have just put the hands on a slider and made them go inside to the pipes. And you want to take the ray bits and flap those out, and then you want to fold the legs. And at the same time, you want to fold them down. And there we have... Make sure I have everything nice and tight. Puffer in vehicle mode. Now this stuff, I'm not gonna put it on right away because I'm gonna show something off, but what you do with this is take these and you put them on you know, like so. It's got like a truck bed. Puffer never really had a truck bed in the G1 cartoon, but I guess I had to figure out something to do with his accessories. And they did this so you could take there's a one episode where Huffer takes Prime's trailer. Um, so you can put that on there. Um, I feel that it works best on the very last hole. And that's Huffer pulling Prime's trailer. Um, I have the non-F kit on here, which brings this trailer a whole new thing I, I love the trailer now um but yeah so you can reenact that one scene where Huffer takes Prime's trailer so now what you can do with this let's take this and peg this right onto his backside and you have him like that He's a nice, he rolls nice. Um, I love that they didn't make the whole canopy out of clear plastic. That is, that's one thing that a lot of the figures lately, they've been doing a lot of clear plastic. Here it's just the windows, which is nice because I like to try and stay steer clear of uh, plastic uh, as much as possible because I think it can ruin a figure. Um, yeah, and to be honest, there should be, remember, I, yeah, there should be 
I'm, I might do something. I don't know. There should be an Autobot symbol right up here. Uh, with like the old toy, the G1 figure. Right on top there should be an Autobot symbol. But instead they have this hole here. So I wonder if I can dig one out of my Toy Hacks ones and put one right up above it. Or below it. Um, so. Does a... Uh, Kingdom Huffer belong in your collection? Absolutely. I mean, I couldn't pass this guy out. I was looking for him uh, high and low and found him. And I had to find him a second time because the first one broke. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, keep your eyes open. He's a good bot. Just be leery of the hands if they're too tight. Um, I wouldn't put that gun in and out too many times because it could snap that hand in half like it did mine. It, it didn't snap it cl clean in half, but it snapped it right at the thumb. Anyways, um, if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. And it'll do me a ton of favor if you, you know, watch this all the way to the end. And, I mean, it doesn't cost you nothing to just subscribe. This is Dragonfly signing out.